Hello friends. In the previous sessions, we have gone through source-free RL circuits, and I think we have covered almost all type of questions which can come in source-free RL circuits. The only thing that is left is for you to practice more and more problems from reliable sources so that you can get a better understanding of the subject. With that, let us move to the source-free RC circuits now, which I have drawn already here. Now this equation which we are going to derive for source-free RC circuits will be for t greater than zero. So it means that this circuit was part of some circuit which had a source and at t equal to zero that source has been removed and this is what we are left with. So let us <coughs> write a KCL equation at this particular node with these two currents that is let me call it as IC and let me call this as IR. If I apply a KCL equation here clearly IC plus IR will be equal to zero. This is by sign convention and also you know that by sign conventions if this is the particular polarity and this is the current of IC that is this following the passive sign convention IC is nothing but C dVc divided by dt right so let us bring out those things here so C dVc divided by dt all right plus this particular voltage across the resistance is uh, Vc here again and this current it is also following sign conventions IR so IR with this polarity will be Vc divided by R so plus Vc divided by R equal to 0 now we also found a similar equation for RL circuit which was LDI by DT all right plus I which was equal to 0 and we solve for the value of I here we are going to solve for the value of Vc let us do that now so if I separate the variables so dvc by vc will be minus 1 by rc into dt so now what we have to do now we have to do an integration so if you do integration on the both sides so let this be from the time of switching which is 0 and let this be till time t now the second thing we have to put the value of vc at time equal to 0 so let at t equal to 0 that v of t will be equal to let let me call it as vc of 0 okay so this is the voltage at across the capacitor at time t equal to 0 and uh, at time t let this voltage be vc of t all right so if you do the integration clearly you will get ln of vc divided by t divided by vc of 0 will be equal to minus 1 by rc into t straightforward so if you solve this again you get vc of t which is equal to vc of 0 e power minus 1 by rc into t now this equation is very similar to il of t is equal to il of 0 e power minus r by l into t we wrote it in another form il of t was equal to il of 0 minus t by tau where tau was equal to l by r okay so this equation also we can write in the same terms now i will not be going for the derivation of time constant because it's the same derivation what you have to do you have to find the exponential curve and you have to take the <coughs> slope at the time t equal to zero to define the time constant but that is already covered in rl circuits you can go to that lecture and you can see the uh, derivation properly so in this case i will just finish with the final result so it is vc0 e power minus t by tau and in this case tau will be equal to rc therefore the time constant for an rc circuit is nothing but r into c so tau will be equal to r equivalent into c this also we have seen in case of the rl circuit tau was equal to l equivalent by r and in this case it is equal to r equivalent into c so the curve if we draw will be having the similar characteristics so i'm sorry for the line little bit difficult to draw in this digital thing yeah so yeah this is much better so time t and vc of t now the capacitor has charged to a voltage of vc0 this is the initial voltage and you should know that the capacitor before switching and after switching the voltage will be equal to same because the capacitor will retain its voltage after the switching for only that instant all right after it retains the voltage at t equal to 0 as time goes the voltage has to decrease has to decrease and finally it will come to 0 all right as per this particular equation it will be vc of t 
vc of 0 e power minus t by rc all right so if i draw the slope at time t equal to 0 this will be the time tau all right this will be the time tau and if i find the voltage at time tau i have already done that for rl circuits so it will be 0 0.3679 times vc of 0 all right and it takes approximately approximately 5 time constant for the voltage to become equal to 0 because this voltage is going to decay as per this equation so now time constant tau is equal to r equivalent into c so let us see what happens when r is increased r is increased all right now what does happen when r is increased now in this particular circuit if you see here this particular circuit let me just take a copy of this circuit here I'm taking a copy of that circuit let me paste it somewhere here yeah okay now if this r equivalent this r equivalent you are going to increase that means that the current which is going through the resistance will increase right therefore the energy which is stored in the capacitor for it get because the current is slow less amount of heat will be dissipated that means the energy which is already stored in the uh, capacitor it will take a larger time to get dissipated as heat all right that is the relation for r equivalent so r equivalent ir increases that means the time taken for the energy stored at t equal to 0 will increase because the current is low naturally it will take a larger time for the energy to dissipate therefore if r is increasing the curve will shift towards the right side all right it is taking more time so <coughs> for the same tau if you see it has much more voltage left all right and in this case if you find the tau if you find the tau it will be a higher value so this is the let me put it this as tau dash all right now what will happen if c increases so you are increasing the value of c what is happening when c increases the energy is nothing but half cv square therefore the energy itself increases and naturally when you have more amount of energy if you have more amount of energy in that case also the curve will shift towards the right because you are having more energy time taken for dissipating all that energy into heat all that energy into heat also increases so tau 2 let me put that will also increase okay so irrespective of increasing r or c the time constant will increase and uh, let me just put it once again here so this is the initial curve vc0 this is vc of t okay so i am increasing the capacitance value here so the curve will shift towards the right so if this was the initial tau this is the initial tau okay so tau 2 let me call it as tau double dash so tau double dash will be somewhere here okay so so when if you are increasing r equivalent the uh, time constant will increase as well as when you are in increasing c time constant increases in the other case if time constant if our inductor case the time constant had will only increase when inductance increases if resistance increases time constant was decreasing all right i hope you have understood the concept of the properties uh, of exponential response of RC circuits. In the next lecture, we will start with problems on source free RC circuits. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture. If you have enjoyed this lecture, please like, share, and subscribe this channel. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.